Good morning, it's time to go to Rome. author of Haley with a Flare, which is a travel blog. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and follow me over here on social media. I'd greatly appreciate it. Today we are going to Rome. I'm going to show you what the process is for Americans going across the pond and everything that you need to know. So I just took a shower this morning. I am packing up my carry-on bag. I did all my checked bag last night. I'm doing my purse right now. Pretty much my carry-on bag right there. That is all camera gear. And I realized I still forgot to put something in it, so. Time to eat. They are unobstructed and aisle armrests. All right, get into JFK. You have to get in line to have your temp uh, temperature taken. So, easy peasy, but you need a paper boarding pass. They said the digital would not work. So it is so important to get this stamp. They were kicking people out of the line that were trying to board the plane. This is what my travel setup looks like. The purple bag like you saw earlier is for the tech gear. The purse has the personal items and of course my headphones and my neck pillow. I flew Comfort Plus on this flight. I know, so sad I wasn't up front. I always keep the things that I know I'm going to need right here in that front sleeve. I got a little excited because they were doing announcements in Italian. I also put on compression socks if I'm in more of the main cabin as well. Delta hands out headphones and this little travel kit that has the earbuds as well as the mask in there. This is my turtleneck pillow. I'm obsessed whenever I've gone across the pond. I've had one. They were nice enough to send me this new plus version and it hooks perfectly off of your tray. That is actually a great way to store clips of things so that you're not digging them out of your bag during the flight. Another pro tip is you can put your mask over your over the ear headphones. So right after takeoff, we were served meals. It includes booze. This was the chicken Marcella. I know it doesn't look that appealing, but it actually wasn't awful. Um, new classes in the clouds for meditation. I always have a little baggie with little mouthwash tabs, lotion, gum. Right before landing, this is what the breakfast looked like. It was like a egg and cheese kind of sandwich with fruit. Um, it was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't mind blowing, but it is what it is. So taking the tram over to customs, this was a really easy process. You just scanned your passport, went through a system, got it stamped and you were on your way. All right guys, I made it to my Airbnb in Rome. I'm gonna show you. Now it's not like super fancy, but the view is the reason that I picked it. So it was 20, not 20, it was 70 flights, not flights, but 70 steps up to get in here. It's just me working, so this is perfect. But this is the reason that I booked it. For those of you that know me, you know I love Campo de Fiori. Look at this view. I decided to pull out the wide angle for this. I mean, look at this view. So I'm pretty much unpacked. Now I'm gonna head down to the market, get some food for here, grab some lunch. This is the first kind of day outfit. And then I'm gonna take a nap before I go someplace really cool later. And then I'm gonna recap the process for you. This is like my favorite place. I'm a creature of habit, a little for now, a little for later. Of course we had to have dessert and it's just to die for. So crunchy, citrusy deliciousness. So Rosholi is one of my absolute favorite places. I found it when I was here last time, kind of a creature of habit. It is just so good. And to give you guys an idea, that is six pieces of pizza. I'm taking a few home, three home for, you know, another time. A bottle of water and dessert for like $9.50. That's a great price. Right around in the corner is the pastry, yeah, which you can get breakfast they do more pastries 
and things of that nature. You'll be seeing that place more during these videos. I just love this area. As you can see, it's just amazing. Okay, so I took my nap. And now, and I really hope I'm not screwing it up, we are heading to a hammock. I figured post-flight, non-first class, I know first world problems, it'd be nice to kind of cleanse my body. So this is the Aqua Madre Hamen in Rome. It is styled to look like a Roman bath. You had to bring a swimsuit. That's the hamen kit that you saw on the bench. This is the relaxation area and down there is all the good stuff. Yeah was quite the experience. I'm so sad I can't show you guys what downstairs looks like, but oh my God. And just when you thought it was pretty during daylight, it is just so beautiful out. All right guys, I'm back. I realized I still had not caught you up on the hamen and reviewed the airport situation. So we're gonna do that as I kind of get my dinner-ish together. I might go out and get something, but I did pick up groceries if I'm not feeling it. So we're cutting a truffle cheese today. <laughs> so what you guys need to know about visiting Rome and Italy in essence from the U.S. is you need to have a COVID test 72 hours prior. You need to have your COVID vaccine card ready to go. You also need to have your passport ready to go. Keep in mind if you're traveling to Italy, passports are still a little backed up. So make sure you get that situated. So at Rochester, they asked me for all my information. You also have to fill out that EU locator form. This is what it looks like. These are a couple screenshots. Um, you can do that. I did that roughly when I did my test. Um, they're gonna give you a barcode. I was asked that at my first airport, so have it all ready. You can have it saved on your phone. I found it's a lot easier to have them printed out and just in one area. So I had my test, I had my locator form QR code. It just made the whole process quite a bit simpler. Um, I always carry a copy of my confirmations with me too, especially these days in case I ever get asked where I'm staying, by customs, which not. Better to be safe than sorry. So getting to JFK, this is also vastly different from when I went to Paris a couple months ago. When I got to JFK, you had to go to the ticketing agent, get a paper, um, paper boarding pass, and you had to go get temperature checked and they were gonna stamp your boarding pass. So if you did not have a stamp boarding pass, you couldn't get on the plane. So that was a little weird. They didn't check any of my docs at JFK. And then arriving to Rome, uh, it was really easy. They have a newer ID scan from the passports than when I was in Rome two and a half years ago. Um, so it was easy. You just went through this area and it scanned your or you scanned your passport. It scanned your face. Then you went on to customs. They didn't even ask for anything. They just stamped my passport and on I went. Um, I did arrange transportation from Kiwi Taxi. I'll put a link down below if you guys want to give it a try. I've used it in Paris and now in Rome and had a great experience. They show up right at the uh, taxi entrance with your name on a sign. Really easy. I highly recommend no matter where you go in Europe, pre-arrange a shuttle. Don't just take a random taxi. Don't take an Uber. It's not that expensive. Um, just pre-arrange and Kiwi Taxi does anywhere. So make sure you check that out. Um, keep in mind if you have people that have mobility issues uh, with you, that the taxis, even though they have a person with your sign there, they have to walk you over across the way. So you'll still need wheelchair assistance to across the way through the parking garage. It's still a little bit of a hike, especially with luggage and tow. This cheese is seriously so good. All right, next, let's talk about the hamen experience. I can't even, I don't even know where to begin. Um, so you guys saw some of the initial videos. I couldn't record in the hamen. So the hamen itself is underground, um, part of an old Roman bath kind of situation. It's a Turkish bath. 
lovely experience. You can either purchase just the Hamen experience or you can do the Hamen and massage, which is what I did. They have different body treatments. Uh, the Hamen takes about two hours. So you go down to the hot stones, like you're in a swimsuit, and then they give you this black soap, a bucket of water that you rinse your body with, and then you alternate going out of the steam room. You only soak yourself once, but the first time you go into the steam room, you come out after a couple minutes, you rinse your body from the soap, and then you do the steam room a couple more times. After that, they scrub your body for you. Like there are, are attendants down there that scrub your body. And I didn't realize until the last time I had gotten out of the steam room and was laying there relaxing, I itched my arm and it kind of had some peeling skin and I was like, oh, that's why they said not to put the black soap on your face and your feet. <laughs> um, don't know what it was, but they scrub your whole body down. You go and lay on this other stone, they scrub it down. After that, I took a shower and then my package included a green mask that was done over my body. So I got to lay on the thermal stone. Well, they painted that on my body. And then after that, I showered and then sat in a chill pool for about five minutes or so before I went up to the relaxation room where they bring you your own pot of tea. I think it's like a chamomile. So good. And then onto your massage. I don't even know how I made it home. I feel like I floated home. My skin feels so good. This terrible lighting in here does not do it justice. But what an experience. Highly recommend it. So cool. I'm going to show you some pictures of what it looks like down there. And honestly, I think it's pretty reasonably priced. And if you are flying in, and I even said this to my friends now, if I'm not flying in a Delta One cabin, who knows, even if I am flying in a first class, like lay bed flat cabin, what a way to reset your body. Cause that first day is always kind of like a little icky. You don't sleep fully on a plane. It's just icky, but my body just felt so rejuvenated. Like I can kind of flip my schedule. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't say enough nice things about it. I just realized I'm sitting here still talking and not insert the joke here, cutting the cheese. Um, so I'm just making myself a little light kind of charcuterie style board um, with some veggies, some meat, some cheese, some bread. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go out and get dinner tonight. I'm kind of tired still, even though I feel rejuvenated, I'm still pretty tired, but um, this is why I bought groceries. I have a little salad with it. I'm cutting up some Parmesan. That's the nice thing about having the market right here. Sorry, I'm cutting the table and it's moving everything. That's why I love Campo de Fiori. It's just such a great neighborhood. You can go down to the market. You can get great cheeses, fruits, vegetables. You have Rosholi, which you saw earlier is like my favorite forno here. Um, just wonderful. I can't say enough nice things about it. So I actually have a bit more work to do. I am working out on the balcony. I'm going to show you what that looks like after this video. And then if I'm still hungry, I might go get maybe like a cacio e pepe or something because there's actually one of the best pasta places in Rome right around the corner. You see like this woman just sitting in the window making pasta. Um, Davide from Greyline I Love Rome showed us that on one of his lives. So needless to say, I have to try it out at some point in time this week. So if you have any questions about traveling to Rome, please feel free to ask them in the uh, comment section down here. And don't forget to subscribe and like on social media. Um, there's gonna be a lot more Italy content coming because I'm also coming back in April with the family. So. I think this might be it. If not, I will end it in a different video, but if it is the end, ta-ta folks. I'm going to the Vatican tomorrow. Super excited. Um, I get to finally meet Davide from Green Line. I love Rome in person. Check out their link below. But for now, good night.